Welcome to episode three of High Five Fitness. I'm the host and producer, Dennett. Today in the studio with me, we've got an online coach, Lisa Rooney, and also Dee Peters. I'm looking forward to having a fun little workout here. So please help welcome Lisa. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us here today for our workout. This workout is intended for those with a little bit of space and a little bit of time. It's called the hotel workout. You can do it from your hotel room with just a little bit of space and you can uh, repeat it at home when you get there. So let's get started. We're gonna warm up going from a squat and into a press up. We're gonna be doing a lot of lunges and squats today. Make sure you sit all the way back and that your front knee doesn't pass over your toe. So you're keeping good form, you're easy on your knees. Just warming up, getting the blood flowing. In five, four, Three, two, one. We're going right into a jump in jack press. Now we're really gonna get the blood flowing. Ten seconds. Three. Two, one, let's stop. And now we're gonna stretch. We're gonna go into a side lunge, right side first. Left leg stays straight. This knee does not cross over the front toe. We're also gonna be doing this move in the workout itself, but we'll be at tempo. This is just the stretch. Three, two, one, and switch in sides. So no matter the duration of the workout, it's always good to stretch, it prevents injury. And we're gonna come up straight, fold over, and go from one side and the other, swaying back and forth. Just stretches in the back, the hamstrings. Feels nice. We're going to be does. doing a little bit of leg work today. So we'll appreciate this stretch. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Let's roll up. Good. Let's start our workout. We're going to be doing around the world kicks. So we're going to kick front, side, back. Wherever you kick, you look there. You don't want to be taking out your hotel bed or a lampshade or something. So we're going to start out. We're going to go front, side, back, front, side, back. Nick, come over to D here. And just notice when she kicks, she's actually squeezing the glute. She's not just throwing a kick out there. Front, side, and back with a nice squeeze. Good. Okay, we're going front, side, back, front, side, back, front, side, back, front, side, back. Last time, front, side, back, good. Front, side, and back, good. Now we're gonna go into those side lunges. This time it's at tempo. You can 
kind of low so you can touch the floor. You can touch the floor on either side. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's take 30 seconds to grab some water. It's important while you're traveling or all the time actually to stay hydrated. Eight or 10 glasses a day is great. If you're working out a lot, it's good to replace all those fluids. Right, we're gonna go into a low curtsy squat. Some people call them speed skaters. Gonna take this leg and go back. Work on the side glute here. When you sit down, come back up. You're pressing off the heel. You can add some depth to it by touching the floor. Really sit low into it. How's that feel? I feel it burning. Good. All right, from here, give me three more, two more, one more. We're going to go into giving the floor a low five. All right, so we're gonna go from here, a little step, so you can get another squat in. If you wanted to, you could add plyo to it. The advanced move is to add hands to it. More seconds. You feel your leg? Oh yeah. <laughs> Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay, we're gonna go into frog jumps. Nobody ever looks great doing these things, but they're really worth the effort. These little rivets. If you don't have much room in your hotel room, just stay in alignment. You can just jump straight up. Here we're gonna travel five forward, five back. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, back, three, four, five, three, four, five, one, Two, three, four, five. Go back one more time. And 30 seconds for rest. Whew. How'd your legs feel? They're burning a lot. <laughs> that last one hit hard. Good job. That's when you it's really appreciate going. stretching, right? And the water. Yes, and the water. All right. Doing well, how are you doing? <laughs> Starting to breathe. <laughs> Not a bad thing. The next ones that we're gonna do, we're gonna work a little bit of core. We're gonna be starting off down into a plank position. It's a mountain climber combo, so I'll show you one of them. We're gonna go down, jump forward, back, one, two, three, four, and jump forward again. You guys ready? I'm ready. Okay. So, jump forward. One, two, three, four. I'm just gonna come over, make sure Dennett is down in position so your booty should not be up in the air. It should be down here. Run forward. Good, okay. Good. All right. 
one more. Good. So the next one is going into a push-up with an alternating leg squeeze. So we're going to be down, facing the floor another time. Just going to do a push-up down with a leg squeeze. Push-up down and squeeze your leg. Squeeze. Squeeze. Good. I'm going to go over to D. She's going to do a modified move. If you're not fully at a full push-up yet, that's okay. You can still get the workout in. Just gonna push up and really squeeze the glute when you come back. Good. Good job, Dee. And Dennett says that push-ups are his his strong suit. So here you go. It's your time to show. <laughs> Two more. Good job. There you go. Great. Okay. Going back to standing. Take a few seconds. We're going to go. The next move is a lunge forward with a shoulder press. He is going to grab a resistance band. This is very easy to pack with you, even into a carry on. It doesn't add a lot of weight and it doesn't add a lot of space. So something that you can easily bring with you on your trip or in your living room. Add some resistance. All right, so we're gonna step forward with your right. We're gonna go down into a lunge, press up. Or you can do it with no resistance band and just work up to challenging yourself further. Great job. Three more. And we're gonna switch sides. And one, good. Stepping out with the left. Okay, going down together, down, and push up. Great. When you come back up, breathe. Blow your breath all the way out. And make sure this knee is not crossing over the toe. You should not be leaning forward into this like this. Just sit down, push off the heel. <laughs> you feeling that <laughs> resistance bandy? That's awesome. Good job. Three, two, and one. Great. You guys want more water? Absolutely. I might grab a little bit myself. Doing a great job. To give it a workout. <laughs> a little bit more core work here. We're gonna work some abs. What do you think about that? Oh, he's gonna <laughs> show off the abs. <laughs> there he goes. Uh, okay. Let's see you work them then. All right. <laughs> Let's see how you got those abs. All right. So we're gonna go down into a plank one more time. And this time we're gonna have our right knee touch our right elbow right here and opposite side. How you doing there? Good. Good. Nice, it works the oblique, huh? It does. Okay, 10 more seconds. Good. Three, two, one. Okay, let's go into lying down on the floor. We're gonna go into a V up. So we're gonna stretch all the way out. We're gonna bring our feet to meet our hands. So it's gonna be up here and all the way down. Good, great job. Now there is a modification you can do. If you're not fully at doing a full V up, 
we can come over to D. She's just raising her knees into it. We can call it a U up. And you can work into doing a V up. It's fine. That's great. Good job, D. And we know Dennis is already at that level. He's got an A pack on board. Okay, do three more. Two, one more. Windshield wipers. All right. <laughs> All right. This is also an advanced ab move. You bring your arms out beside you, legs up, and you go from one side to the other. Neck stays off the floor so you're not straining. And I'll show you the modification there again. If you're not at that place yet, that's fine too. D is still bending her knees, but just not coming all the way down to the floor. And that's fine as well. It's still working the side abs. That's great. Working the oblique. Okay. So we're gonna wrap that up. Let's do three, two, one. Great job. Okay, so you're gonna come to standing. And we'll just take a few minutes to stretch for a couple seconds. All right. Just gotta put the mic back on. No worries. Those windshield wipers. Oops, yeah, those hit. They worked. <laughs> they do. How's your abs feel? Feeling good. Good. Feeling good? Nice. And each other high five, that's awesome. A little camaraderie. I'm sweating. Okay, you have sweat and abs, check. <laughs> that's awesome, okay. Let's stretch it out. So we're just gonna roll down. And one vertebrae at a time, roll back up. Good. Go back down. One vertebrae at a time, breathe into that one. One more time. Good. All right, thank you so much for joining our workout today. I got up a little sweat. These guys got a sweat on, so I hope you did as well. That was a lot of fun. It was a that lot was a of fun. That a good workout, thank you. Yes, thank you. Come on over. So that's also a workout someone can do first thing in the morning if they're running late for work, couldn't they? Oh, they could totally like get it out of the way. They could get it in within 15 minutes. There's no excuses there. Lunchtime. Lunchtime, uh, yeah, you can get a nice little sweat. Yeah, I could see that would be useful traveling, but also when you're running short on time. Short it's, on time, short on space. You don't have to have a lot of space. Even if you are in a hotel room, you can kind of situate your towel on the floor or mat to where you do have the space to do it in. Yeah, I could see how you'd want to do that. So you travel quite a bit, don't you? Yes. Let me get some tips or questions that, I, that I'd like you to answer. Okay. When I'm traveling, what would be a good thing to eat when I'm on an airplane? What do you normally eat? That's a good question to keep the diet clean. A lot of airlines are now serving candy bars and that type of thing on planes. I usually bring my own snack pack of almonds yeah. or rice cakes or even a protein shake in one of those little pre-mixed bottles. It makes it easy. I get to stay clean on my diet. Did you want, have one you wanted to show us? Yeah, I do. Let's take a look. I have um, pre-packed almonds. Do, do you weigh your almonds out? or? Is it... I usually uh, count a portion out, so I try to stay within my portions and not kill it on yeah. that type of stuff. If I'm botching up the diet, it's gonna be on something that's worth it. <laughs> um, this is one scoop of protein, or you could do two scoops and have it in a pre-mixed type of bottle. It's easy to carry with you and you mix it with water on the other side of security, so. So I have the almonds and a scoop of protein powder, so you're getting your fat, healthy fats and proteins. Mm -hmm. And that would carry you over for the airplane ride. Yeah. Okay, so then the plane lands, you go to your hotel, you're hungry after a long day, maybe you had a business meeting or two. What do you eat when you get to that hotel restaurant? All right, if I'm looking at a hotel restaurant menu, I'm gonna look for lean cut of chicken, grilled chicken breast, mm -hmm. or lean cut of meat, like um, steak or pork even. 
is fine. I just have them grill it. You can ask them to cook it any which way you want. Yeah. You're the paying customer, so just um, have them cook it in a lean way. Have vegetables. I either order double vegetables or have a salad on the side, and I have the dressing on the side because a lot of times you can add a ton of calories with dressings that are unnecessary. You sure can. So it's always good to get the sauce on the side, I like to say, mm -hmm. with the dressings on the side. Mm -hmm. And do you drink extra water because of the higher sodium content, or what do you recommend? It's not just the higher sodium content for that, but um, when you fly, you're retaining water anyway. Yeah. So I try to hydrate myself after, uh, you know, have taken a flight. And instead of eight to 10 glasses, I might up it up to 10 or 12. Real quickly, you did mention before, sometimes you'll actually freeze meals and bring them with. Do you, do you still do that? I do. If I'm traveling, um, and I actually need to stick with a certain diet for either a photo shoot or a competition or something yeah. like that, then I'll freeze the chicken breast and that can actually act as its own ice. And it kind of dethaws a little bit on the mm -hmm. plane ride there, but not fully, so you're not eating bad chicken, but it, uh, it acts as its own ice cooler. Okay, and what do you do for your social life when you go out with friends and what do you yeah, how do you handle social events? When I'm out with friends, I typically choose what I would from like a hotel menu, a grilled chicken breast, lean cut mm -hmm. of meat, um, salad or vegetables. I might pick a, like a sweet potato or a brown rice for the carbohydrate. Um, if it's out for a celebration, then I plan ahead for that. So I can still have cake on my birthday or cheat day. A, a cheat day or something like that. And I just kind of compensate the next uh, day or two afterwards and cut back a little bit. So it's really about having discipline and motivation. It is about discipline and motivation to. and it's knowing that as long as you're great on your diet 90% of the time, then you're going to stay within your range. And looking for the cleanest choices when you have when you have choices. Go yes. always go for the clean lean meats. Yeah. All right, well thank you. I see that we still have a little bit of time, so I actually had another question, a little bit off topic, but okay. we had this <laughs> device that you brought with. Could you explain to our viewers, what is this? Okay, so I'm all and about bringing resistance um, to exercises with you, so you actually can have some of these bands. They have different forms of it as well, and if you're gonna work out in your hotel room or on the go, you can still add resistance and get a nice glute workout. Mm -hmm. There's no excuse there that, like, oh, they don't have a gym where I'm going. Um, and the resistance bands that Dee brought as well can add to it, so there's that. And you could just do a lot with these little bands. Um, you could do floor work with them as well. And then this type of a band, you can do lots of things with this type of band, like the lunge work that Dee was doing. You could do biceps curls. So you could do the presses with them. You can come down into a press, squat press. These things are unlimited and um, you can Get my Just, curls in with yeah, these. Yeah, get your curls in with those. Triceps extension so you can extend back with it. Okay, show me that one. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna come like this. Just one at a time. Mm-hmm, just one at a time. We can still get a whole workout in with these bands. Um, they're found online. You can get a whole set for about $50. And a lot of them even have the thing that you can um, shut into the door so you can create a nice little back workout out of it. Mm -hmm. And was there any other exercises you wanted to show us with that? Yeah. I think Dee wants to show a demo of this yeah. one. Come on up. Come on, don't be shy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's good, D. And it's a nice little squeeze right there. Turn a little bit towards the camera. There you go. Good. And squeeze right here. Good. <laughs> and the side ones, too. Good. Do you 
want to add resistance, raise a little higher. You can even use two of these, one at the ankles, one up here, and it creates even more resistance. These things are so easy to travel with. So you travel with both the two? Yes, put them in if your I band. can, or um, even have like a heavier weighted band. Yeah. Um, if I'm, if, yeah, if I'm needing to exercise out of town and I'm not sure if they have a hotel gym or not, then I'm gonna ensure that I'm still gonna get my workout in. Even if it's a short one, you get your workouts in. Mm -hmm. What what motivates you to really get there? And when you're traveling, don't you just want to sleep in? And, and what gives you the motivation just to really want to use the bands and things you've brought with? I think just wanted to be in the best shape of of my life. Um, just wanted to continually grow as an athlete and um, not lose progress. Just having the lost days of out of town, you know, because some people even travel a lot, so they're missing maybe even a block of like 10 days out of a month. So it motivates me to stay in shape no matter what the circumstances are. Do you, how do you feel when you're really staying in shape and just getting things on track? I feel amazing about it. <laughs> so is that what motivates you? You just want that amazing feel? Seeing the results. Seeing, Seeing the, results. the results. Yeah, definitely. And. Uh, I think that would motivate anybody is, is needing to see the progress. That's a lot of times what makes people fall off. Yeah. Is, you know, the New Year's resolutioners come in in January, they go in with this mindset like, I'm going to go four times this week into the gym and not really do anything shifting mm -hmm. on their diet. And then all of a sudden, you know, they're not seeing the results that they need immediately. So they'll fall off. Well, we're getting near the end of our show. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to thank you for having you on and the great tips that you shared with us. I'd also like to thank you, Dee, for coming on and being our model there. Great job. I want people to get motivated and stay disciplined, practice your workout, have fun, and come back and see us next month. Thank you, viewers. Thank you. And thank you for that great workout. That was a lot of fun. You're welcome. So, I had a, a hard good time one. too. Yeah. <laughs>